Alright, to give you a brief rundown, the hull's overall in pretty decent shape. And right here you got some scratches and stuff. Um, on both sides, got a little damage here. It ain't nothing too bad. Not too good with the video camera either. Um, got to your trawling motor. We'll talk more about that when I get back in the boat. Figured this is easier than taking a bunch of pictures. See right here you got a little bit of fiberglass damage. Look at the motor. So I'm gonna run it for you here in a minute. You got to your ice chest, keep your drinks or fish or whatever in. Gauges. A couple of these switches are bad. Um, I think this one for your running lights is bad. Um, you got two live walls in here, but the pump's bad for the live well. Um, I don't know how hard it would be to change. Um, just haven't had the time to mess with anything. Got your GPS depth finder. Um, what else I got? Fish finder. So, and it works. Yeah. Got the little fuse panel here at the radio. CD player, and I think it might even have an iPod um, thing with it. There it is. So. You got your live oil. I had a little, like I said, the pump's bad, so you got one of those little bucket things in there. Have a bunch of storage. Storage on both sides. Got your fish box. Anchor box, which I got an extra prop in there. Your anchor and some anchor rope. Um, now with the trawling motor it works, but uh, we don't have any uh, any batteries in it, so let's see what else. Right here is where the batteries go for the starting. Um, you got a plug right here and an onboard charger for the um, trawling motor batteries. That right here is another live well. This of course your bimini top. Let me turn on the water and we'll start it up. So with that trawler mode on, and I might have used it, shit, probably ten times since I had the boat. That's why I didn't even when the batteries went bad, I didn't even bother to replace them. Well, all right, man. You got any more questions? Just give me a call.